Tom, were you aware of any neighbors that want to participate? Not Bob. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. No. Okay, thank you. Uh, so I'm going to call the meeting to order since it's 7 o'clock or somewhere thereabouts. Uh, this is a regular meeting of the Development Review Board, the meeting of the uh, 17th of uh, uh, just November. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 2020. And um, we have one application tonight. It's an application by uh, Gerald uh, Stoff. And that's for a request to add an additional use of a home business to a residential use property. And the residential, the rest, the uh, home business would be a auto repair and service. Is that correct? Yes. Thank you. Um, what I need to do before we start the meeting is I need to swear you in, and also the zoning administrator. You swear to tell the truth, nothing but the truth, and matter before this board tonight under penalties of perjury. I do. I do. Thank you. Okay, um, would you please um, describe to us what you'd like to do with uh, this business and your property? Um, I want to do an auto inspection station and oil changes, tire changes in order to do the inspection part. I need to get the board's approval, I guess. Uh, the uh, the auto inspection uh, requires a, a zoning compliance statement from the town. Okay. Uh, what else would you be doing besides oil changes and uh, inspections? Would you be doing repairs? Yeah. Or some transmission motor work. In summer. Excuse me, Gerald. You're, you're break yeah, Excuse me, Gerald. You're breaking up. So I'm going to turn your video off, but leave leave your audio on and see if that helps. Okay. I'm going okay. to turn your. I'm going to turn your. Or, but we could still be able to hear you. Okay. 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 Hopefully that'll help. So, Gerald, yeah, go ahead yeah, and describe to us what you'd like to do there. I'd like to be able to do seasonal tire changes, uh, exhaust work, brake work, uh, transmission, change transmissions out maybe once in a while, in uh, Vermont State inspections. I've got a question. Will you be doing body work as well? What's that? Will you be doing body work as well? No, I'm, oh, okay. I'm, I'm no good at that. <laughs> okay. Um, Tom, do you have any? Uh, thank you, Gerald. Um, Tom, do you have any comments with regard to this application? Uh, I, I, I do not. It was the reason it was uh, brought to the, the developer review board is a really two-step process for unlisted uses. One, the, the town administrator, the, uh, town administrator the, the zoning administrator could uh, approve it, <laughs> could, could approve it. Um, I really thought that this was beyond the, the, the purview of the zoning administrator, and that's why it's in front of you folks tonight. Okay, thank you. Um, questions by the members of the board? Uh, okay, if there are no questions at this point in time, I think what we have um, before us tonight is uh, covered under uh, conditional uses, covered which is uh, 2108C. It's covered under the uh, home businesses, which is 3103. And it's also a, the... Um, primary thing that Tom was referring to was just 2005 C period C, which is unlisted uh, uses. So I think the, the board has to determine that this is a uh, 
a reasonable use based on other unlisted uses, on other, other listed uses. Uh, if we go to unlisted uses, it basically says that we have to determine that the, it's the same general character as those permitted or allowed as conditional uses, and that it will not be detrimental to other uses within the district and the adjoining land uses. So I think that's the first question before this board tonight. And then we have to go through the criteria of conditional use. Mr. Chair, Mr. Stoff also provided a site plan uh, review for, for this board to, to, I think, to enhance his application on um, why it would not be detrimental to the neighborhood. As well as text addressing the criteria. Yes. Yeah, um, I'm aware of that. Uh, thank you. Um, so, uh, it would appear to me that this is not a use that would be, does everybody sort of recognize where this property property is? Yep. Yes. It's sort of pretty much out of sight mm -hmm. from the road, mm -hmm. which is route, uh, 12 from the road, also the town road, um, which lovers lane. Right. Um, in fact, you have to look really hard to find it from my driveway. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but um, uh, I don't know that it's dissimilar in use to things like um, contractor's yard. No. I'm not sure, but clearly, I think I think qualifies as definition of a home business. Right. Mm -hmm. Mr. Stauff, will you be having employees? My apologies, my daughter. Me. <laughs> Calling from Denver. Hmm. Gerald, will you have any employees? No. Thank you. Um, <laughs> she only calls about once a month. This was the night. Uh, any questions by the board with regard to being a similar use? Or being compatible with the area? Yeah. I. No, but I just have a. I don't think it's similar to a contractor's yard because he says there will be no stored vehicles. You know, there won't be any unregistered vehicles, or so it sounds like there's no parts cars there. Is that correct? Correct. But I think the the. Uh, my take on that is that it's less of an of a an impact than a contractor yard because it doesn't. That, yeah, that was my point. Yeah, mm -hmm. I agree. So, um, any further questions about the use being appropriate as a um, um, business in the area? No, not for me. In that case, I'd like to go through the site. Oh, I've lost them. Site plan criteria. Mm -hmm. I'm here somewhere. <laughs> and um, parking, you, you indicated you have some parking at the property? Yes. Sure. Gerald, can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, yeah. I do. Yeah, we do. Yeah, I have I have a parking available there. We have your text before us, but um, uh, just ask you to sort of address it a little bit yourself. Um, uh, the um, property is located quite a ways away from Lover's Lane. Um, yeah. 
quarter of a mile. You plow that yourself, do you? <laughs> yes, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, next criteria has to do with, um, you, you, so you, you indicate you have parking on the property for six cars more? Yes. Um, if you're looking at the, the picture there in front of my garage, I've got, oh, figured out to 200 feet. Yeah. Those, those on the video, it's this one. This what he's re referencing. Looks like there's plenty of room. Yeah, but there there shouldn't be maybe one car overnight if I don't get it finished that day. It comes in. I'll finish it in the morning, and then that that be all that would be stored there. But they'd all be registered and insured. So will you just do appointments? Yes. Just to kind of control the flow. And I'm, do how delivery trucks are those just like the the parts store trucks that come in and out? Yeah. The um which brings us to access and circulation a little bit, uh, Carla. Mm -hmm. um, it's a private drive. Um, the, uh, the, the, the only, I, I, I guess I would ask you to address the fact it's right across the railroad tracks. Do you see that as a problem? No. It's uh, the train before the COVID stuff came by like four times a day um once at like two in the morning nine in the morning noon and six o'clock at night and now it doesn't come by well i don't remember the last time i heard it <laughs> it's pretty rare yeah not to digress but what train goes through there <laughs> amtrak Oh, <laughs> yep. Haven't well, you ever seen the pumpkins uh, from the train? I have. <laughs> yep. It's been a long time since I've been on that train. So <laughs> uh, okay, it's convenient out of Montpelier. Yeah. 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 I used to go to the city, New York City, in it, but that was a long time ago. Yep. The um. So the, the, what it is is the, his his driveway is immediately after the railroad tracks. Right. Um, well, but it, as as probably most of you know, Lover's Lane is now closed to oh. through traffic. Really. And I don't know what the yeah the uh, the bridge deck needs to be replaced, and the it's town the, does not have oh. the budget does okay. not have the budget to replace the bridge deck right now. I think the town has applied for state funds to help deal with that. Or not. My, sen my sense, Mr. Chair, is that uh, there may be an article on town meeting day to address the uh, Fisher Road culvert, th that deck, and one other um, uh, infrastructure, Richardson Road culvert. Hmm. And you're working on that tomorrow night. <laughs> um, okay, yeah. So, uh, but right now it is closed. It will be hopefully open again. Although I have to tell you that there are a number of people that live on that road that hope it will not be open again uh. because of the truck traffic. Um, but anyway, um, uh, you were talking about how many trips a day. You're talking about maybe six customers a day, Gerald? Gerald? Yeah. How many customers a day? Probably, probably around six a day. So that would be two trips per customer, maybe more. So that's not a lot of traffic. Well, the other thing is, is it's the first drive off of Lover's Lane, right? 
Yes. Right. Yeah. Question on access. More, I have more friends and family that come down the driveway than I would customers. <laughs> <laughs> How many people do you have coming down the driveway and want to go swimming? <laughs> oh, there. <clears throat> Questions on access and circulation. Uh, landscaping and screening. What was that? What was that? Gerald, uh, the chairman was asking the commission if they had any further questions on access and uh, circulation, and they did not. Oh. Yeah, uh, uh, I'm sort of going through these one by one um, and see if the board has any questions. So in this case here, landscaping and screening is the next criteria. Any questions with regard to landscaping and screening? No. No. <clears throat> I mean, we all looks, have the narrative before it, us. It looks really well wooded. <laughs> yep. As I say, I live right near here and I can't see it. <laughs> um, outdoor lighting. Questions on outdoor lighting? No. Nope. My understanding is you're going to have a motion sensor light, wall light, over each door. Is that correct? Gerald? I couldn't understand it. It was all broke up. Um, my understanding is you're going to have a, a wall mounted light over each door. Yes, those are, they're already on my garage. They're those decorative wall sconces for when you drive into your, to park your car in the garage, they come on automatically. <clears throat> so are you adding any new lighting? Um, sign light for for my building. Okay. Will be, how late will that be on? You know, in the night. Uh, maybe, but it's not. It's not to see. It's just they're they're called sign lights. They come off my building and then they bend back and beam the light onto the sign that's on the on the building. Right. So, I don't think that happens in time. Gerald, will those lights go out at a certain time every day? Yes. Okay. What time? Um, probably nine o'clock. That, that, that will likely be a condition of any permit. Are those going to be motion sensor lights or are they um, full time on, on timer? No, those are on. Those are on a switch. Okay. So you'll be turning them off manually. Gerald. Yeah. You'll be turning them off manually. Yes. Okay. Gerald, would yep. you have a pro would you have a problem putting it on a timer so there's no a possibility of you forgetting to turn it off? No. No, you don't have a problem with that. No, I don't have a problem. Other questions? There we no other outdoor lighting, correct? Gerald. Gerald, no, Gerald, no other outdoor lighting, correct? What's that? No other outdoor lighting, correct? Right. Thank you. Questions on lighting? None? Um, I have a question. Are you asking the DRB to prove the signs or are you approving those, Tom? The question is to you, Tom. I will approve those administratively. Okay, so we're not going to hear the criteria on, on signing. Okay. Okay, so it should, the DRB is not going to review signs. The zoning administrator will take care of the sign application. 
so lost as we've heard about a sign and we don't know what's what's right. <laughs> um, outdoor use areas. Any questions about that? My understanding, Gerald, is there will be no outdoor storage of any junk, materials, goods, equipment, or unregistered vehicles. Is that correct? Correct. Because I think that's a big question for us. <laughs> My apologies. <laughs> Thanks, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I just took my phone down to my husband. <laughs> I didn't deal with it. <laughs> That's right. There you go. The, um, performance standards, 3208. The applicant has addressed um, odors, trash, and so forth. Does anybody have any questions on that? Well, I just have a question about, because I, I was looking on a map and it looks like your closest neighbors, there's a house on Haskins Terrace, I guess. And also there's some houses, the houses closest to Route 12 on Pine Hill Drive seem close. How close are those houses to your house? Um. Uh, probably a quarter of a mile away at least. Okay. I just didn't know. They seem closer than any houses on Lover's Lane. Okay. Probably the, the house on Haskin Drive is, is the closest house. Yeah. Uh, but it's on the other side of the river. Yeah. And it's, I believe, quite a bit above your house, is it not, Gerald? Oh yeah, that's um, uh, Keith Herring. Yeah, they're, they're, that house is quite a ways away from mine across the river. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking at Google Maps. It doesn't look like there's a house very close. Doesn't look like what? Like there's other than that house across the, across the river, there doesn't look like there's anything very close. No, just, just the ones on Pine Hill Drive, but that's across from Route 12, so. Yep. Um, erosion control, my understanding is there'll be no land development done here. There'll be no, construct no construction plans, so stormwater management's not relevant. Um, you just have the existing property and you can use it as it's being used now. Um, traffic is kind of an issue with me. I, I always, but in this case here, I don't see very many trips involved. Yep. Uh, I am concerned about the fact the driveway is only about 75 feet from Route 12. So our standards, but that's an existing driveway and there's not a lot of additional traffic. So I, I, I have no questions about traffic. Does anybody have questions about traffic? No. Um, we're under the conditional use standards right now. So we're talking about the character of the area. Mm -hmm. um, this would be a different use than what's in the immediate area, but on the other hand, it's right next to a railroad track, uh, which used to have four trains a day or more. And probably and will, will again. Yeah. And will again. Yeah, yeah. And will again, hopefully. <laughs> um, when I first bought my house here, the first night we slept here, it, I lived right across the road from his place on Pine, uh, Pine Hill Drive. Oh, okay. First night we slept here, about two o'clock in the morning, the train went through. I said, what the hell is that sound? <laughs> I didn't realize it was a track that close. And it's, and it's nowhere near as close as it is to him. <laughs> How long have you lived there, Gerald? Four years. Four years? 
So you got used to it by now. Okay. It still catches me off guard sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I love the sound of a train going through. It reminds me of my child. Try living in my house and see if you still love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, what, where he lives and where I live, the, the house rocks. Oh. <laughs> um, so I, I um, anything about character of the area? Questions by those board, members of the board? No. Nope. Natural resource, so, natural resource <laughs> protection. We do have an issue here. Gerald, I have a question for you. Was that house damaged in 2011? No. No. For, for flooding? From No. Not that I was aware of. Did it get up the garage? It got, there was water up in the yard, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, because the train, they called the day before and, and, and the train that stuff back up underneath the trussle and they told them that it would be fine and apparently it wasn't fine. The 2011 flood was larger than the 100 year flood. So it was actually above the 100 year flood plain in this area. That's why I asked the question. The, um, but according to the floodplain map, Tom, that's not in the floodplain. Is that correct? That is correct, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Um, and your business would be uh, would be control would be regulated by whom? Um, myself and the Vermont Department of Motor Vehicles. Okay. So I was going to say, I think it's pretty. It's pretty. Um, rigorous to get a dealer an inspector license isn't that yes so i just have a question about you know the storage of the oil that you change because you are right next to the river and i just want to make sure that the the water is protected so you you mentioned i guess that you will have sort of a some kind of a waste disposal system can you describe that yeah i i when i do oil changes i i got a uh self-contained unit that sucks it out and then i pump that out of there into a 55 gallon drum and then a local garage that uh uses it for heat will come and take it from me for nothing oh okay so you're basically storing 55 gallon drums yeah, until it's full, and then it's it takes quite a few oil changes to fill one of those. <laughs> My question is, who lifts it afterward? Forklift, probably. Um, okay, so anybody have any additional questions for this applicant? Nope. Tom, do you have any additional comments? No, sir. Gerald, do you have anything additional you want to add to your application? No, that just in the summertime, there'll be a lot of traffic, but it won't be mine. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I fully aware of that. Uh, they like to park at the bottom of my road. Huh. They like they like the park everywhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm good. I, yep. There's no other questions. I'll move to close. I have a motion to close the hearing portion of this application. Second. Is there a second that motion? Second. Second. Thank you, John. Uh, we have a motion by Carl and a second by John. Is there a discussion of the motion? If no discussion, all those in favor of the motion, please signify by saying aye. Aye, aye. Polly. Aye. Aye, aye John. Uh, opposed? Uh, the motion is uh, passed. Thank you, Gerald, for your application. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. We're Gerald, approved. The, the, Gerald, the, the, Gerald, the, 
Gerald, before you leave, the, the process is the board will then tonight likely go into deliberative session. And uh, uh, from that deliberative session, uh, there will be uh, minutes and findings of fact written and a, and a decision uh, issued to you likely in 30 days. But uh, I, I can, I, I'll talk to you tomorrow about, about all this, okay? Okay. All right, thank you for your time. Thanks. Thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. Is Mr. South out, off the line now? Yes, yes. Or Orca is still on, Bob. Or you're still on? Okay. Yes. Um, the um, one of the things we don't do with Orca still on is we don't talk about the minutes of the previous meetings, and we probably should approve the minutes of the previous meetings while while we're still being recorded sure. before we go into deliberate session. So what I'd like to do is sort of jump ahead at a deliberate session on this application. Uh, we have two sets of minutes that have not been previously approved. Am I correct with that, Tom? Correct. We have the minutes of September 1, and we have the minutes of September 15th. That tells you how long it's been since we've been mm -hmm. together. I know. Yes. Can you remind uh, us what projects those were <laughs> from? <laughs> I can. Uh, the, uh, September 1 was uh, Mark Nicholson's application for site plan review for his, oh, okay. uh, that building mm -hmm. he wanted to put up on his property. Right. Okay. And um, uh, I made comments, Polly, and you made comments. Yeah, right. And Christy revised those per our comments. She revised them on 915. And, and I think we all said that looked good. Yeah. And I, I would be prepared to make a motion mm -hmm. to approve those minutes. But uh, we also had the minutes of September 15th. And that was uh, an application, uh, not an application, really, it was a petition by the state of Vermont with mm -hmm. regard to the um, site plan review we did for their park and ride. Oh, right. What they did is they petitioned us to um, uh, change our findings Right. Um, which I believe we did in accordance with their request. Mm -hmm. And um, um, I'm trying to remember what the final res resolution of that was. Um, I made a number of edits. Yeah. To that, uh, those minutes. And I never heard anything further on that, but I would probably... Um, why don't we go ahead with September 1 first? I'll make the motion to approve September 1 as revised on 915 by Christy. I'll second. Discussion? Comments, questions? I don't mean to go by too fast. <laughs> uh, that was just uh, that one application by Mark Nicholson, and right. it was kind of, kind of technical stuff about how much of the criteria she needs to include in the text that she did. Um, okay, uh, motion been made and seconded. If there's no further discussion, all those in favor of that motion to approve the minutes of September 1, please signify by saying aye. 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 Thank you. And on the minutes of September 15th, um, I, I made my comments, I actually provided edits, uh, as opposed to comments. And, um, Polly, you said you thought they were good. Yeah. And I heard from none others, but uh, I'll make a motion to uh, approve the minutes per my edits. I'll second that. Is there a discussion on that motion? All those in favor of that motion, please signify, signify by saying aye. 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 Thank you. And we have approved the minutes of uh, September 15th. Now, for the, that's for the right. Oh, that's for the record. Uh, at this point, we can probably release Orca. You're going into deliver session, Mr. Chair. I move that we go into deliver session at seven thirty-four, seven thirty-five. <laughs> Second. Second by Polly. Uh, 
Motion made by uh, Carla. Thank you. All those in favor? Aye. 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 And we are in deliberate session. Thank you very much, everyone.